what's going on everybody i'm back with another high limit coin buster video for you all today and in today's video we're going to be doing a three million dollar buy-in and they gave us one thousand quarters to get started today extremely expensive game so i uh, wish me good luck hopefully we can walk out of here with millions up on millions of dollars now they got a humongous wall in there it's probably one of the biggest uh, poker chip walls i've ever seen in there before so that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the bottom layer, those are uh, $5,000 chips. And the top layer right here, those orange chips, those are all made out of $10,000 chips. They got some uh, golden towers on the uh, pusher back there. There's also a blue mister bag. I can see behind that great big old wall where I'm standing at. And uh, let's see, they also got quite a bit of stuff on the uh, blue shelves also. There's a... Uh, some $1,000 chip towers, a yellow Mr. Bag on the right blue shelf, and a red Mr. Bag on the left blue shelf, and two stacks of $100 bills. Oh my goodness, wow, we're getting a ton of quarters already. That's always nice. Oh yeah, it's pushing remarkably well. Oh nice, there we go, the Mr. Bag fell off of the pusher back there. I think I forgot to point that out, but there's a blue Mr. Bag. There was one of those on the pusher back there. Now look at all these uh, $5,000 chips right here. That is amazing. Yeah, they're definitely sliding out from underneath of that wall pretty quick. Nice, there we go. That was a fabulous push right there. Yeah, it won't be long. That whole entire wall will just collapse down. Just uh, keep a close eye on it. We just got to get those uh, $5,000 chips. To, uh, keep on sliding out from under the base of that great big old tower. And if that great big old golden tower on the uh, pusher back there falls down, it's going to completely destroy this great big old wall. No doubt about that. Yeah, we probably should uh, get that loot chute cleared out here in just a moment. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that loot chute cleared out. All right, there we go. It's always best to keep that loose chute cleared out because uh, there's if, for the ones who don't know, there's this little uh, opening area, like uh, right up above the uh, loot chute. And uh, if the loot chute starts to bowl over too much and gets real full, sometimes stuff will fall down in that little opening area, and when it, and it would actually go to the owner. I wouldn't get a winner keep any of that. Uh, same thing for those uh, side slots on the left and the right hand side. Anything that falls down through there, that money would go straight to the owner, so. But there's really no way to prevent money from falling down in there. It's inevitable. Well, this is doing super, super good today, though. We're getting so much gold out of there. That great big old golden tower on the pusher. Yeah, that thing is about to go. We probably got about... Uh, 540 quarters left out of the thousand we started with. Oh my goodness, you can kind of see that blue mystery bag right there. See that? Oh yeah, it's sliding out from underneath of that wall on the right hand side. It's a good sign right there. Oh yeah, that wall just inched forward a tiny bit more. Well, we just about got all the quarters off of the lower shelf, all the ones that were stacked up anyway. Yeah, I think we'll be all right, though. Oh, my goodness, the gold tower fell over. Oh, my goodness. Wow, there it goes. Check it out. Oh, wow, the golden tower, like, ended up falling backwards or something. My goodness, that wall is very, very sturdy. It's strong. It's going to take a while to knock it down, I think. Now, if we could just get all these uh, $5,000 chips in the center to just slide out from underneath of it, the whole entire thing's just going to collapse down. Oh yeah, check that out. We're about to get the blue mystery bag on the right-hand side. Now, hopefully there's a lot of good and valuable stuff in there. Now, let's get that loot chute cleared out again. All right, there we go. Oh, nice, the mystery bag fell over. There, it fell down into the... Uh, loot chute but it got stuck on its way down so uh, let's try to push on the right try to get some quarters to hit it nice there it goes jackpot baby so we'll open up that mystery back here shortly 
Also grabbed some uh, quarters out of the uh, loot chute a second ago. We're doing pretty good. There was a bunch of gold down there. And a truckload of uh, $5,000 chips. It was outrageous how many $5,000 chips were down there. And gold bars. But yeah, we still got a long ways to go to making that $3 million back. That's the only obstacle we're facing at the moment. Alright, so uh, we only got a couple quarters left. Let's just uh, throw them in there and see what it does. Alright, there we go. Come on, nice push. Big money, give me something. Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of gold right here about to go. So anyhow, I'm going to go down there and get that loot chute cleared out. Uh, grab some more quarters. And we'll keep on going. So just keep a close eye on this great big old wall. And uh, if it falls down, I will leave that footage in the video. So we'll be right back. Oh yeah, this is doing remarkably well. We made a tremendous amount of money on that last round. And a boatload of gold, my goodness. There was so much gold down there. I'd say we potentially won probably about, uh, oh gosh, like a little over 50 ounces of gold so far. So this is doing absolutely amazing. So let's try to knock down this ginormous wall. Uh, the way it looks right now, the wall might end up like sliding backwards. That's all right though. As long as we can at least break even today, that's all I'm concerned about. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to say this is an old video or something like that, which I do understand where you're coming from because uh, a lot of these uh, walls look the same and stuff. Because I remember seeing a lot of like poker chip walls that look identical to this one right here. But uh, this is a brand new video. This is being filmed on uh, February the 21st, 2024. And uh, if this was an old video, I wouldn't be able to say that. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I should go ahead and get that out of the way, just in case somebody thought it was an old video or something like that, which I do understand where you're coming from, like I said, so, anyway, this wall is being super, super tough today, and yeah, this might be the world's largest wall ever built inside of the coin pressure, who knows. Yeah, whatever employees set this one up definitely knew what they were doing, so. But yeah, uh, we'll check out that blue Mr. Bag here shortly. Let's see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. Hopefully it's loaded up super good. We'll find out together. We'll open it up together. Yeah, all those uh, 5,000 Nola chips right here, they look like they're sliding out a little bit. Come on, make it rain. Oh my goodness. Well, the 5,000 Nola chips on the left this move. Now nice. we got a gold bar. Now if we could just get that center right here to get moving, that's what we really need. So uh, let's go ahead and stack this thing up with quarters using the uh, skill stop. Try to get a large base of quarters built up behind all those uh, 5,000 NOLA chips. Alright, let's see what that does. We'll just rapid fire the rest of them in there. Alright, there we go. That was probably about 400-ish quarters at once. My goodness, this, this uh, wall is so close. I really don't know how it's still hanging on there like that. That is crazy. Yeah, look at how many uh, chips are missing from the sides of that wall. Yeah, that's what I'm having a hard time understanding how it's still holding on there with just those chips in the center. Because, I mean, that has to be like 5, 10 pounds of uh, chips right there. Probably closer to 10 pounds, all those uh, five and $10,000 chips put together. Now that's outrageous how it just hangs on there like that. Well, the employees definitely knew what they were doing when they set this one up, like I said, so. Yeah, and a lot of times these games will be super, super difficult. And I'll have to buy in like 5, 10, 20, 30 times just to get it to go. And sometimes we still don't get it to go no matter how many times I buy into this game, so. 
Yeah, I know there's a lot of people who still think that I win at these like every day, but I mean, pretty much I'll play two or three or four or five of these games in one day. And uh, I will just post the best video of the day. I'll post the game with the biggest towers, the biggest profit, the biggest win, all that good stuff. Just to uh, post the most entertaining videos. Because uh, not many people would like to see the losing videos. I've had a lot more people tell me they don't want to see the losing videos than people who have told me they do want to see them. So. And I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. So... I mean, I hope you understand that these games are definitely not easy 99.9% .9 of the time. And on average, I spend about four hours playing these games. I'd say about one hour of that is getting the loot chute cleared out and separating all the chips and stuff. And uh, two and a half hours of it is probably like the gameplay and all that stuff. And then the other little bit of time is uh, waiting on the staff to get back here and rearrange the machine and set up brand new towers and stuff like that. You get what I'm trying to say. So on average it's like four hours wrapped up in a game and I edit out a lot of the boring parts like the boring footage where it's just uh, quarters and stuff like that falling down because uh, that can get boring after a while. So. But on average, my videos usually run about half an hour long each day. That's like the average amount of time that I upload. But here lately, they've been closer to like 40 and 50 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all have been enjoying the longer videos. Let me know if you'd want to see like uh, longer videos or shorter videos. Or a mixture of the two. Well, one thing I have noticed, like, over the past uh, couple months, over the past, like, six months, pretty much, uh, like, the, the shorter videos don't get nearly as many views as the longer videos, so I just try to uh, keep at least 30 minutes of video footage on each video, so... Anyway, this humongous wall, I can't believe it's still hanging on there. We've put a lot of quarters in there. Uh, let's just rapid fire a bunch more in there and see what happens. Alright, let's see what that does. Come on, big money, give me something. So uh, comment the number five if you've made it this far into the video. I'm only going to say that one time just to be sure you're still watching. Because I know a lot of people like to fast forward through the videos. And I highly would suggest uh, watching the videos all the way through. That way you don't miss out on any uh, valuable information. I try to keep you all informed on what stuff is worth or if anything changes about the game try to inform everybody about like the rules of this game. I don't like leaving people in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. I just try to keep every new subscriber informed on how the games work and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, so the buy-in, if you're wondering what the buy-in is, pretty much you have to pay a certain amount of money, whatever they're charging that particular day. And today it was three million dollars to play this game right here. Which that's a, a reasonable price game considering how big this great big old wall is right here. So, uh... But yeah, then they give you a certain amount of quarters to use. Usually they'll give you like 50 quarters, that's like the average amount. But uh, on games where there's like ginormous towers and stuff like that, and they know it's going to be more difficult to knock it down, they'll give you like sometimes 200 quarters, 500 quarters, or a thousand. Well, we definitely needed every bit of those thousand quarters today. Honestly, we probably needed a little bit more than that. But uh, regardless, we're still going to get this wall to crash down eventually anyway. I really, really hope so. 
Because uh, we're going to have to win every bit of that money out of there. We're going to make anywhere near $3 million back. I mean, we possibly made around half a million right now or something like that. Which is pretty good. It's a decent start to the game. But uh, we need to try to make that $3 million back. So let's see. I'm just going to put a bunch of quarters in there. Putting a couple quarters in there, the time isn't really doing us any good at the moment. So let's just go ahead and pile the quarters up super, super high back there. All right, so let's see what that does. That was roughly 450 quarters. Yeah, we just need the center of that wall to crash down. That's literally it. So uh, that right there was the last of our quarters. So I'm going to have to go round up some more quarters. So uh, let's do that and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I'm going to uh, load this thing up with quarters. Just using that rapid fire technique. So uh, let's do that. I think that's the only way we're going to get this great big old wall to fall down anytime soon. So that was another basket of quarters right there. Let's see what happens. I keep on dropping a bunch of them on the floor, so I'll have to pick those up here shortly. Anyway, if we could just get all those $5,000 chips to go, that would be amazing. Yeah, they definitely made this wall extremely difficult to win. Now, this might be the toughest wall yet, because like all the other poker chip walls, that I can remember they've fallen down pretty quick so yeah, I've been playing this game about 49 minutes so far camera said 48 minutes a few seconds ago or about a minute ago seems like so I'm just gonna say we've been playing for about 49 minutes all right let's rapid fire a bunch more quarters in there you ready Alright, there we go. If that doesn't get it, I don't know what's going to get it. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, it's going to go, I think. I actually think it's going to go this time. Alright, well let's go ahead and stack up a bunch more quarters while we got it primed and ready. That way we can just keep the huge waves of quarters going and going and going. Let's see, I'm going to go for about 200 more quarters in there. See what happens. Alright, one more handful and I'll let go of the uh, skill stop button. Alright, let's see what all that does. Oh yeah, it's going to go, I think. The base of it's starting to slide out a little bit. Oh yeah, there it goes any moment now. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, it is so close. Super, super close to going. Nice, there we go. We're starting to get some of them up. $5,000 chips. Yeah, this right here is hands down the most difficult wall that's ever been in there before because I've put thousands of quarters in there. And we finally, just now, got it to move a little bit. Right, I'm going to rapid fire one more basket in there and see what it does. Oh 
my goodness. Wow, nice. There it goes. There it goes. Wow. Nice. There we go. We finally got it to go. Now all of it got uh, jammed up against the glass. Nice. There we go. It's just going to be raining. Five and ten thousand dollar chips out of there now, baby. Oh, yeah. Now we get the jackpot on this one for sure. Now you can uh, see the stuff that's on the blue shelves a little bit better. Yeah, even that great big old uh, golden tower that was on the pressure back there, whenever that thing fell down and crashed into that wall, the wall ended up knocking down the gold tower and it fell backwards. As you can see, we lost a little bit of it right there. So, Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're winning this many chips out of there. All right, let's get that loot chute emptied out one more time. Oh my goodness, well, I'm glad I got it cleared out. It was getting super, super full. Oh yeah, nice, there we go. About to win a whole bunch of money. Nice, there it goes. Oh my goodness, wow, this is insane. Oh yeah, leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed that. Let's try to get to uh, 10,000 likes today. That would be amazing. 10,000 likes. I know we can get there. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a good push on the rock. A bunch of quarters fell, and we got a couple more chips back. Oh, my goodness. This is raining out of there wave after wave. Oh, yeah. It's unstoppable today. Ain't no stopping all those chips from falling down. That's a good problem to have. So, uh, oh, my goodness. Wow. This keeps on raining and raining and raining. So anyhow, I'm going to go down there and round up some more quarters. And we'll try to get all these chips out of here. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's continue pushing over there on the right-hand side. Try to get all these $10,000 chips right here. And there's a whole bunch of $5,000 chips underneath all those ten thousand dollar chips so there's definitely a lot in there we made an absolute fortune on that previous round i don't want to spoil how much money we've made so far but i can tell you it's a lot and we've already like well i might as well go ahead and tell you we've almost uh, tripled our money so yeah we're doing super super good today and uh hopefully there's some uh, dice inside of those uh, mystery bags yeah, if there's any of the white dots in there, we'd get to roll them at the end of this game, whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers. And if, and if there's any uh, gold dots, that'll multiply our gold. And if there's any uh, silver dots, that'll multiply our uh, quarters. So, And there is uh, two mystery bags on the uh, blue shelves. Plus, we got that uh, blue mystery bag we got to open up. But uh, let's go ahead and pile up the quarters on the right to uh, get a large base of quarters built up behind all that money over there. And I'm really, really wanting to get all these $10,000 chips. So uh, let's go for about, uh, oh goodness, a thousand at once. Well, probably not a thousand quarters at once, possibly, uh, I don't know, like 500. Let's do 500 quarters at once right here. All over there on the right hand side and some in the center, so. Yeah, that should give us several good waves of quarters. And it should uh, help stack up the quarters behind all those $10,000 chips as well. And uh, we'll check out that uh, blue mister back here shortly, so stay tuned for that. Let's see if there's any nice and valuable items in that mister bag. So uh, there's actually multiple ways we can win all this stuff that is on the blue shelves. The first way... I would have to win a $5 chip or a red earbud. If I win either one of those two, I would get the cash it in. They would put all that stuff into the playing field for free. But if the uh, $5 chip or the red earbud's not in there, then I would have to pay uh, two times the original buy-in to get them to put all that stuff into the play field. Well, those $10,000 chips are slowly but surely working their way out of there. Nice, there we go. There went the majority of them. Oh my goodness, wow, that was incredible. Let's get the loot chute cleared out. Wow. 
Nice. There was a whole bunch of $10,000 tips in there. All right, now let's try to get all these right here. Then we'll be set. I guess then we'll be ready to uh, turn in the $5 tip if it's in that mystery bag. And uh, if it's not, I'll go ahead and pay two times the original buy-in to get them to put all that stuff into the play field. I mean, it'd be kind of like gambling because uh, there's definitely not $3 million worth of stuff on the blue shelves. However, there is two mystery bags, and those could potentially have some dice in there. So uh, I guess we'd take the gamble and risk it all. We'd risk it for the biscuit, in other words. So uh, if you're enjoying this video so far and you want to see more videos like this one every single day, seven days a week, 30, 31 days a month, 365 videos a year, uh, be sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, turn on the bell icon. That way you're notified for whenever I post brand new videos. would help out the channel tremendously. Uh, we recently got to 150,000 subscribers, so I appreciate all y'all subscribing. Been wanting to get to 150,000 for a very long time, so I truly appreciate you all subscribing. That is amazing. And uh, if we can get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year, that would be wonderful. That's my goal for right now, anyway. Oh yeah, we're going to get all that money on the right side in just a second. Nice, there it goes. It's going any second. Watch that. Keep an eye on that right hand side. Nice, there we go. There went some of it. But I'm trying to get these uh, $10,000 chips. That is the uh, main target at the moment. Oh, yeah, nice, there it is. We, we got some of it. Nice, there it goes. Oh my goodness, wow, that was a waterfall. Indeed it was. Alright, so that's all the quarters we got left. So uh, let's see if we can get those $10,000 chips with just that many quarters. Come on, good push, give me something. Come on, get them off of there. Oh my goodness, they are so close. They're probably going to go while I'm down there getting that loot chute cleared out. So uh, keep a close eye on that right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up that mystery bag whenever we return. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and open up this blue mystery bag right here. Check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. Wow, we got the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. Indeed we did. So this right here is worth one or more free towers made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. That is amazing. And uh, we got five of the one dollar chips today. So that's going to be 2,500 extra quarters. Each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. And uh, the five dollar chip, like I was saying, we'll get to turn that in. They'll put all that stuff that is on the blue shelves into the playing field somewhere. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn in the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip first. That way if we lose anything to the blue shelves, they would automatically put it back in there whenever I turn in the $5 chip. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turn in that uh, 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. They built uh, three ginormous towers made out of five and $10,000 chips into the play field. Now this one right here, it's made out of five and $10,000 chips. And uh, there's like two ginormous, like tall and skinny towers made out of $10,000 chips. So uh, we definitely have the potential to make some pretty big money off of this bonus game right here. So uh, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can get it all cleared out of there. And uh, also I went ahead and turned in them $1 chips. They gave me 2,500 more quarters. And we really, really needed those extra quarters because we were starting to run pretty low on quarters at this point. So, yeah, I thought we'd be better off going ahead and turning in the uh, $1 chips. And after we win all these five and $10,000 chips, I will uh, turn in that uh, $5 chip. So, stay tuned for that. Don't go nowhere yet. Yeah, we're pretty much about halfway through this game, I guess. And uh, who knows, there could be uh, 
some more special tips in those mister bags. Oh, sweet. There we go. We got the one on the left side to fall straight forward also. Yeah, a lot of times if the towers are stacked up real tall on the pressure back there, they'll tend to fall over on the blue shelves a lot of times and we'll end up losing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's why I wanted to turn in the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip first. That way if we did lose something to the blue shelves, uh, right as I turned in that $5 chip, they would automatically put it back in there for free. We wouldn't have to pay the extra 100 grand. Oh yeah, this scurvy gold humongous tower in the center. Now that one is extremely close to going. Here in just a second it'll go, I think. Yeah, it would be nice to win that uh, $50 chip today. Now that $50 chip, I can't remember if I've explained it already, but uh, if we win that, I would get to turn that in. They would take all the stuff that's falling down in them gutters, or uh, dealer slots, side slots, whatever you want to call them, and uh, they would put it all back into the play field for us to have a second chance of winning it. Oh, nice. We got the tower in the center to drop into the pay. That is magnificent right there. Absolutely spectacular. So, uh, let's see. Let's just push all these $10,000 chips out of there. Well, the majority of them anyway. There's one still remaining on the corner. I might just leave it in there and win it on the next round. Oh, yeah. The two on the left right here and the two in the center. That's the ones I'm going for. Oh yeah, come on big money, give me something. Nice, there we go. Well that was a pretty quick uh, bonus game right there. Can't believe we already almost got it all cleared out. And uh, another thing, I can't really remember if I've said it or not, but uh, if anything falls down them side slots, that money would go to the owner. Don't get a win or keep any of that money. I think I said that at the very beginning of this game. But uh, just a reminder, just in case uh, you missed me saying that or something. Oh my goodness, that $10,000 chip, it's defying gravity. Well, we might as well get the one on the right also. It's too close to leave in there. And uh, whenever they put all those other towers into the play field, whenever I turn in the $5 chip, that may end up falling down inside the machine and then we'll lose it, so... Better to be safe than sorry. Let's just get it out of there. Nice. There we go. We got it. So uh, let's turn in that uh, $5 chip and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. Uh, they took all that stuff that was on the blue shelf. So they put it all into the playing field. Uh, looks like they just took the two mystery bags. Those are like on the left and the right hand side of the lower shelf. And all the uh, $1,000 chip towers are on the pusher. Same thing for the $100 bills, as you can see right there. And uh, for the ones who don't know, there's actually $10,000 in each one of those stacks of cash. So that's some pretty good money right there, if you ask me. And uh, the white dice, if there's any of those in there, that will multiply the chips and the cash. And the gold dice, that would multiply the gold. And uh, if there's any silver dice, that would multiply the quarters. So. I think I said that already also. Yeah, it's been a pretty long day today, so sorry if I'm getting my words jumbled or I'm repeating things a lot. Uh, this actually makes the fifth game I've played today. And uh, I actually posted a video today. So this is like probably going to be my second like real video of the day because some of the games were losing games so I'm not going to post those but this one right here is going to be the second video so I will probably post this one tomorrow on the uh, 22nd so yeah if you've enjoyed the video so far hit that like button like I said if we can get to 10,000 likes within 24 hours of this video being posted uh, tomorrow, I will probably try a one-quarter challenge with a large buy-in. How does that sound? So it looks like we lost a, a gold bar to the blue shelf on the uh, left side there, so it would cost an extra hundred grand to have them put that back in there. 
if there's no more special chips in the machine. So anyway, uh, let's try to get these $100 bills out of there. And usually when the cash is positioned the wrong way, just like that one on the right, it struggles to fall down. So really, really hoping we can get it to go. We're probably going to get this one though, because that's positioned perfectly pretty much. Nice. You see what I'm saying? We just got it. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push right there, baby. Wow, that was a ton of gold. Yeah, the gold bars are worth about a little over two grand an ounce right now, I'm pretty sure. If uh, somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the uh, comments section, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh nice, we got the other stack of hundreds. Both of them got uh, stuck in the loot chute though. So we'll need to get that cleared out. Oh yeah, like two ounces of gold left in there to win. Let's get it. After we get that last skull bar, I'll get the loot chute cleared out. We gotta check out the mystery bags as well. There was two of those in there. Alright, there it is. We got it. We got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely outstanding. So let's check out those two mystery bags. Alright, here's those mystery bags. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this red one right here. Let's check it out. See if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a red mister bag in there in a couple of days, so let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, we hit the jackpot on this one. We got three of the white dice, and we also got a golden dice. That is absolutely amazing. I've done told y'all what the dice were for, I think, two or three times already, so there's really no point in repeating that again. But, uh, now let's go ahead and check out the yellow mister bag. Hopefully this one's loaded up real good. Nice, check this out. We got two more of the white dice, three more gold dice, and one silver dice. So, can't remember if I've said it already, but that silver dice, that will multiply our quarters by whatever it lands on. So, that is absolutely amazing. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won ten dice in total. We got five of the white dice, four of the golden dice, and one silver dice. They'll put all ten of them dice on the uh, pusher back there. And we got to roll one down to that lower shelf. And whatever they all land on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings and our golden quarters by those numbers. So, let's go ahead and call them back here, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 10 of them dice on the pressure. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all end on some phenomenal numbers today. Yeah, this is definitely the most intense part of the game right here. Because these dice right here determine how much profit we're going to make off of this game today. And we've already won millions of dollars in chips. So, uh, oh nice. We got a five on that first white dice. Couldn't get much better than that. Well, if six would be the best one. I don't think we got any uh, sixes so far. That one landed on a two, so. Anyway, literally all those dice landed on some good numbers except for that one right there. The one does not count, so you can just pretty much pretend that's a zero. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by all that right there, and I'll let y'all know how much money we have won today from a three million dollar buy-in we'll be right back you all are not going to believe how much money i've won today this is absolutely outrageous i ended up winning fifteen million eight hundred and forty six thousand dollars that is the chips and the cash combined and uh, the white dice totaled up to 16 so i'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 16 and in total i ended up winning two hundred and fifty three million five hundred and thirty six thousand dollars from a three million dollar buy and that is absolutely exceptional so we made pretty much every bit of that money back that we had lost on previous games today that is absolutely amazing i don't even know what i'm saying right now this is just insane i am shocked can't believe we've won that much money off of this game and uh, anyway moving on we also won 44 ounces of gold and the gold ice totaled up to a uh, 10 so i'm gonna get to multiply the gold by 10 and uh, in total, I ended up winning 440 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold is like 2,000 and uh, 50 an ounce right now. It's just my guess. So that means we got an extra $902,000 in gold. So that's like one third of our buying back almost just in gold bars alone. That is exceptional. 
And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was uh, 4,119 quarters. And uh, that silver dot landed on a four. So that means we got uh, 16,476 quarters. Let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. It means we got $4,119 in quarters. That's pretty good right there. So anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all for a $3 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you leave a like on the video and uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out one of Coin Pusher's videos, that will appear at the top left of the screen. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next episode. Y'all take care and have a magnificent day.